I feel like people, I feel like it's sort of under delivered and most people aren't really talking about it anymore. I, I, you know, some people say that with keto, right? But uh, I went to PubMed right before coming here. There's 6,000 uh, peer reviewed publications on PubMed, and over the last year, 717 of them. And there's also 558 registered clinical trials on a ketogenic diet on clinicaltrials.gov. I mean, you can look at CAR T therapy as something like this. There's like maybe four or 500. I mean, so this is something, and, there's and, been and an do, explosion. Are those spread mostly between cancer, metabolic disease? Yeah, I actually wrote, that, like, uh, I've been on top of this because I've given, like, there's 50, 40 to 50 clinical trials on psychiatric disorders. So that includes bipolar, schizophrenia, major depression, uh, anxiety disorders, anorexia, uh, alcohol use disorders, alcohol withdrawal, uh, traumatic brain injury, autism. Uh, anorexia is quite interesting. What do you think? Is, what do you think is the uh, the hypothesis there? Well, anorexia is uh, a psychiatric disorder. It's the psychiatric disorder that kills more people. Yes, it's the than highest mortality. Psychi yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, there was. Uh, a number of studies, uh, Guido Frank, he's at University of San Francisco, I believe. Uh, he's an expert in eating disorders, as is my colleague, uh, Dr. Deanna Rancourt, who kind of has a peripheral like interest in this. But Dr. Guido Frank is running a study on anorexia, I believe from uh, what I last heard, can't talk about it too much, but I think some of the data is very encouraging. There was case reports that combined uh, a ketogenic diet with uh, ketamine, and that put uh, anorexia into remission. And there's been some uh, quite a bit of buzz about that. And uh, a, for anorexia, typically you steer people away from any kind of dietary restriction. Exactly. Yeah, with that anorexia, would be traditional right? thinking. Yeah, but you have uh, the brain, the effects of the ketogenic diet on neuropharmacology, on the hedonic response, on just stabilizing your mood and other factors that could play into anorexia seem to be at play. I was mm. super skeptical because it flies in the face of everything that I know, you know, and I've, I, we have one of the leading experts at University of South Florida, Deanna Rancor. I remember talking to her about it and she, you know, kind of was a little bit skeptical, but the data coming out and uh, looks very promising and compelling. So there's continuing emerging data on psychiatric disorders, largely funded by the Bazuki Group. <laughs> I think exclusively funded by Jan and David uh, Bazuki, their foundation. And